Hi, Tom here. Welcome back. In this, we're going to be looking at Django and connecting it to Next.js as your front end. We'll be using Django Ninja. If you know Django, you're going to really like Django Ninja. And then Next.js can be a full stack framework, but we're going to just use the front end. And that's a framework made up in React. And let's get going. So first, we'll set up the Django backend, number one. And number two, we'll connect Next. And then we'll just do kind of some testing and checking. It should be quite easy to do, as you'll see. OK, so install the relevant packages. Cool, so now that we've installed pip install Django and the packages, let's create the new Django project. So we're gonna go copy this and then paste it into our terminal. So we've created our API there and then core here as well. Great, and this is the name of our app API. So let's do that. So we're going to go to core and settings and install our apps here, register rather our apps. Okay, so core's headers here, which is maintained by Adam and then API there, which is the name of our app. You might actually want to choose a better name than API here because we're going to be having an API inst. Yeah, we're going to be having a file called API. Let's just go with API for the moment. Okay, and we want to add our middleware, our cause middleware, which will set the cause headers on the request and the response as they come in. Uh, it needs to be at the top as usual, I think. I think it can be below. We'll just leave it there, that's fine. And then we want to paste this in as well, cause allowed origins to let our to allow requests from our Next.js development server, which will be on port 3000. Okay, now that we want to create a simple model to store some items as to show us fetching from the back end with our front end. So we're going to go into core, uh, no, not into core, we're going to go into API and then go to models there, which should be auto-generated for you. Copy it and then paste over our item. Great, it's item with a name and description. Now we want to create schemas in API slash schema. So in here, create a file called schemas.py. This is what Django Ninja is going to be using. And this essentially does validation on any data that we send to Django Ninja from, which is there, our API from an external. In this case, it will be our Next.js server. And I'll paste in that. And you can see here, we're just defining, we're using a model schema, which we're, um, which we're going over item. There's the model and those are the fields that we're going to get. And remember, ID is a default included uh, field in Django models. Great, now let's create our API in API. That's what I mentioned about the bad naming. So you might want to call your top level app something other, but no big deal for us. Okay, now you can see how nice Django Ninja is. If you, I've got quite a few other guides on Django Ninja. If you want to check it out in more detail, just you can click there on the blog, but it's really nice. And now we want to go to API and create another file inside that folder called api.py. There we go, paste this in. This is our API. So all these routes, I'll just make it pep8 compliant, all these routes, so if you do a get request to slash items, then you're going to respond with this, that's the type, and slip some new post, and you're going to create. Very simple, very nice, and that's it. We don't need to write any URLs beyond connecting them all up. So we'll just copy this. We can go to our core URLs in our core, paste over the top, and you see that we're going to set the path called API, and that will just import from the app API here, API and then add it just like that. Yeah, kind of very nice Django Ninja magic. Now let's just create the database and run the server, copying this, pasting it into our terminal. And now we go to our server here and that's what we want to see. And now go to slash API. That's also good. And now go to slash docs. Great, and there's API slash docs and here we are. As you can see, we have this really nice self-documentation using Swagger that Ninja generates for us, which we can also interact with. Yeah, if we go here, try out, for example, and we go execute, then you see it returns nothing because there's nothing in the database. Yeah, this is so nice for documenting APIs. Okay, now let's go back. So we've done that now. We'll just leave this running, but let's go back to the guide. There you go, that's what we should see. Now, section two, let's set up Next.js frontend with App Router. App Router is a kind of variant. It's the more modern version. The previous one was called Pages Router. So let's go with that. Okay, and we're gonna call it Ivy. So we'll create a new terminal. I can do that like that. And here we are. And then we're going to paste this in, npx, create next app, latest IV. If you don't have Node installed, you might get a warning for that. Then just go to the Node website, download installed Node, and then you're good to go. Okay, npx, create next IV, and yes to install. And then we'll run through. Well, do you want to use, actually, that should be TypeScript rather than JavaScript there. Do you want to use TypeScript? Yep. Yeah. Yes, Lynn. Yeah. Tailwind. Yeah. SRC. No. App Router. Yes. 
and then customize the import no now it will install great so we've just created next and then we've run through and created these each of these options then we want to cd into ivy so cd ivy to be in our where our front end app with next.js is you can see next there and then run npm run dev and you should see this pop up npm run dev and um, here and then we can click on the link here and here is our sample page for next which is exactly what we want so now let's edit the sample page and start requesting some data from django there you are well, odd that this is i guess my internet's very poor at the moment so i think it's ignoring the image whatever it's still there now let's go and add some data to our django back and using the django orm so create another terminal and we're going to go into django shell with python manage.py shell so go here and we're going to import our models and then create some sample data so just paste that in there you go that should have all been created there you go item two three four five six and actually if we go to our ninja api and then try it out again and execute you can see there you go there are all the items oh, such a nice such a nice system with this self-documenting with swagger documentation great now i want to create an api file in ivy to access our django ninja api and we'll do that on yeah as i've said the next runs both back end and the front end and so we'll create a folder called utils to fetch data from the django back end uh, and we'll do that from the next back end which is nice because it means you can have that and have more sensitive data there and not expose it to the client okay go to ivy and then we'll create a folder called utils and create a file there called api.ts, ts being for TypeScript, which we selected earlier, and then paste it in. And you see simple, that's the URL to our Django API with Django REST framework. And then that's the data we're expecting. And we're gonna fetch the items from that place and then return JSON, simple. And then we're gonna add a front end component. Note the difference between TS, which means back end in next speak, and TSX, which means front end, i.e type scripted to react and we're going to go here copy and let's create that in ivy app page which is pages are the sort of standard units and that's what we're seeing at the moment here for our create next app and we're going to delete all that and paste over the top what we just touched on there you go and just very super simple about as simple as you can there's our fetch items which we're getting from utils and then these are the items and then we're using django's uh, not django's react jsx to iterate over items and then render it yeah cool it's well, our server still still running as you, well, let's check it's still running yep there it is otherwise run this again make sure your django server is running as well with the ours is here and then let's visit localhost and um, localhost 3000 and there it is so that's it this is our front end app speaking directly to django ninja so yeah, how does that work? So Django Ninja exposes the API endpoint here at this, which we've written in in the API here. And then we make a server-side request on the Next.js server-side bit. Django Ninja processes the request, gets the data from the database, which we loaded in with Django Shell, via the Django Shell. And then your ORM returns that data as JSON from here. And that return in JSON is done automatically by Ninja. And then Next receives that and renders it in the server component sending it to HTML to the client. Loads more videos weekly. Uh, subscribe for more. All the best to you.